Locate your number six, part number one. Uh, we'll study in this part uh, risk uh, management templates. Uh, we'll start with uh, project planning risk evaluation checklist. Uh, same any templates will put the company logo and the uh, company name or organization name. <coughs> uh, here is the project name prepared by and date. Uh, instructions to fill the form uh, number one for each item number blue complete all blank field we have to complete all this blank field field uh, at the bottom of this form enter an overall evaluation rating H M L or N for this project then click on the link to the risk assessment coach in here and enter the same rating in the project uh, portion of the form. Click on the link to the risk response plan document and enter all high risk items that were entered in this form. These two forms will come next and will explain in details uh, risk assessment coach in here and project. Uh, management uh, portion for risk response plan also will uh, explain it later uh, to know what is the meaning of H M L or N the rating here H mean high M mean medium L mean low uh, A mean absent uh, C mean complete, B mean partially complete, A mean absent, Y mean yes, N mean no, N A mean <coughs> not applicable. So for any project we have to follow this uh, risk evaluation checklist. Uh, for example, uh, the evaluation will be planning, number one planning. Is the project scope include or defin definition and objectives the same as agreed in the project charter? Planning status here and risk level here. To, if planning status, this number one, we have to put planning status C or B or A or Y or N or NA. And this is the risk which meet the part of the planning H or M or L or A <coughs> for example here yes it's included so this mean complete C risk level will check the level if it's not completed what what is the level of other risk we will say it's medium. As a project scope statement being reviewed as a part of the baseline process, if partial, if no, we we'll write no, this means it's a high risk that nobody review the project scope statement. Is the project plan against which to measure progress if we don't have a project plan this is very high risk because we are not we don't know what we are doing so we have to write complete it and the risk in this case will be low does the project plan address the following areas number one Project scope and deliverables, it must be completed. So it will be low. Work breakdown structure. If it's still not yet done, for example, so we'll say no. And this mean will be mean this high risk that this is not done. Uh, this part is a comments or plan to resolve. Uh, for example, here we have to complete the work breakdown structure.
structure on Android with Z8, for example, 15 uh, December 2016. This example for how to fill uh, the form task dependencies, a project schedule, milestone schedule, project budget, quality plan issue our uh, resolution and the change management risk management plan other plan as needed critical success factor uh, resource plan assignment limit cost benefits analysis procurement plan communication plan configuration management plan phase exit uh, criteria checklist project progress tracking project organization facility plan document plan material uh, plan training plan backup and recovery plan contingency plan cut over plan warranty plan transition plan other um, if there is something you need to add it is a plan of the project resources adequate uh, are the baseline project schedule and budget realistic maybe the budget is not realistic uh, so you have to put uh, it's a high high uh, risk because this means you are not sure about the budget you put is a plan of the organization project resource adequate are the adequate project control system is there any information system for project uh, for example central storage for uh, easy access to project document uh, where key project stakeholders brought into the project plan uh, where the potential customers involved early in the planning process this can make high risk if it's not done was planning complete before the project was initiated are project planning documents under virgin uh, control uh, if there are a vendor have stay signed off on the project plan if there is an independent and oversight contractor have they signed off of the project plan um, then we go to organization is a project organization documented and on the file is a project manager qualified and experienced in project management it can create high uh, risk have roles and responsibility of the team being documented and clarify communicated to the team customer and stakeholder is the organization structure appropriate for the project size and complexity is there any is there an identified role of a technical leader project lead team lead solution architect is the quality function uh, identified as assigned who does quality control uh, quality assurance is the project sponsor fun function identified and defined is there change control board have the configuration management function being assigned uh, are the are there backup strategies for key members of the project other organization items if uh, available we can add it uh, this part regarding tracking and monitoring monitoring uh, and the risk which can reduce are the various type of report uh, their contents frequency frequency and the uh, audience defined and communicated to the project team are the input requirements from project team member clearly clearly documented and uh, communicated have the reports to be produced distributed and filled being uh, defined and file being defined uh, as a format for tracking and monitoring schedule and the cost being defined uh, we have to agree if yes or no completed uh, or what happened and based on your answer you can define the risk high low medium uh, 
on the risk level. And in comments, as we said, you can write when it can be completed, how you can solve the risk if the risk happens. Reviewing, have the various meetings, uh, the purpose, content, con context, frequency, and participants uh, being defined and communicated. What are the defined meeting materials? Are the meeting uh, set up to have a sign? Uh, note takers that will add, add action or issue to the issue list uh, issue management is an issues management process documented and filed is this uh, process communicated to the customer and team member will an issue from be in use will all project issue and unconditionally tried through the issue resolution process will all task resulting from issue uh, be entered into the issue log and uh, tracked are the process for and or solved issue to be uh, scaled and resolved within the reasonable time frame all these questions you have to ask and uh, if you have more you can add it also for any project these uh, questions to uh, to track and to evaluate the risk uh, for each part you can ask for any project for example change control will there be change control process in place is there is any control process is a change control process documented and on file uh, will this process to be communicated to the customer and the project team will there be a change request from in use for for change request form in use as we explained before the change request form Will all project deliverable and software configuration, configuration management be changed only through the change control process? And so on. <coughs> um, for risk, even for risk management, it can create a risk. If you make it in a wrong way, it will create a risk. For example, if we ask ourselves, will all the project risk be managed according to the project risk management process? If it's not, what will happen? If there is no process for risk management, uh, we just put the risk. When we mean the process, so we mean it should be documented, it should be reviewed uh, from time to time, monthly or weekly, and uh, we have to find solution, we have to follow the risk. If this steps not there, so risk can be there and can be happening and nobody knows about it. So it can create risk if this is not available. Uh, will the risk response plan be updated on regular and frequent uh, basis? Will the risk status be reported uh, to management on the regular and frequent basis? Will the risk document be uh, filled? Will there be documented a contingency plan for the, the top five to ten risks? Will the preventive plan for the top five risks be identified, included in the project plan and implemented? Regarding the question regarding <laughs> quality assurance, uh, has a quality assurance plan be documented? Are the quality assurance functions and related rules and responsibilities clarify and defined are the compilation and verification criteria defined for each task uh, production produ producing an output uh, is there a process test plan uh, and inspections reviews uh, will task be marked complete only after Quality assurance has been successfully completed. Uh, will 
will there be a formal process for submitting logging or tracking and reporting items undergoing quality assurance through the submit test reward create submit reset cycle will static related quality assurance be collected will the quality assurance related information be reported regularly as a part of the status reporting mechanism as a method of uh, and the process requirement tracking uh, developed and so on for each process we find the risk of the process which is not done or done and what is the result if it's done or not done then we have we can evaluate our risk upon completion of the above checklist we have to complete the following create link to refer documents which support uh, your planning status and risk level by using insert hyperlink link toolbar upon completion of uh, above checklist please complete the following create link for reference documents enter your poll evaluation rating here for the risk uh, high medium uh, low absent click the adjustment link to enter the same overall evaluation rating into the project management portion of risk assessment questionnaire here we have to put the link to risk assessment questionnaire which we will uh, study next uh, click on the link uh, to the risk response plan also we will check it later enter all risk high items that you enter in the above form number three project planning risk evaluation checklist signature the final approval and who uh, create the list who should approve the list name the title signature and the dates uh, next literature part number two uh, we can read the balance uh, risk uh, templates so see you uh, next